Good day folks, it's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. I think you're going to find this kind of useful. I'm going to use my laptop and I'm going to find out what switch port I am connected to without using Wireshark or, or any of the drivers. No NP cap, no WinP cap, no Wireshark, none of that. We're going to do it all with using the Microsoft built-in commands. Okay, so here we go. Uh, first thing is first, I always like to do uh, kind of a little bit of a, I'm going to call a Microsoft lesson because a lot of people may not be familiar with the commands. Good old prompt. So right now my prompt is my path and a greater than sign. So if you just did prompt slash question mark, it shows you all the various options. I want to change that. So I'm going to do a prompt. I'm going to change my prompt. I want the, okay, here's what I want. I want two things. I want the time and I want the greater than. That's what I want. So prompt dollar sign T, dollar sign G, and boom, now it's changed. So whenever hit enter, the time updates. And that's a great way to keep track of time when I'm doing these kind of labs to find out that a minute expire, you know, that kind of stuff, all right? So CLS, clear the screen, boom, step one done. Second thing, I'm gonna add um, a filter. So the first thing I wanna do, just a little note, if you are not familiar with this, PKTMON, that's Microsoft Packet Monitor, uh, the filters are remembered by the application. So if you ever type PKT mon filter list, it'll show you if you have any. Now, if you had a filter yesterday, last week, last month, whenever, it will remember that. So always check your filters before you start a capture. Okay, so that's kind of what I do now because I've found out the hard way that, yeah, it remembers that filter. Even when you reboot, it doesn't matter. Okay. So what I did was I know the MAC address that Cisco uses to send the CDP packet, and that's the MAC address right there. So PKT mon filter add dash M and the MAC address. You can also give it a name if you want to give it a name, like Cisco CDP or something, uh, but that's good enough. So now if I check my list, you'll see that I have that MAC address in my filter. And that's something that people who are used to Wireshark and other analyzers might not be familiar with, this workflow. So it's create your filter first, check your filter, then start your capture. Before you start your capture, though, you have to find out what adapter you want to capture from. So if I did PKT mon list, it'll show me all the adapters. This changes, folks. This changes. So right now I want to do it for my docking station. It's 250. Uh, next week, next month, tomorrow, it might change. So always check your adapters for that ID. Okay. I've... <laughs> I just made that mistake yesterday, okay? So so make sure you check. So what am I doing here? I'm going to start a capture. Let me just go over here and copy my command so I don't have to type it all out. What is going on here? Give me one second, folks. There you go. So it's PKT mon. Start dash C means capture. I want to start a capture. Double dash COMP. That's your adapter interface. And mine is 250. Again, you should always check that. It will change. And this packet size. So this is your packet slicing for the people who know the lingo. By default, Microsoft's PKT MON will capture only the first 128 bytes of the packet. In most cases, that might be enough for the Mac, the IP, the port numbers, that kind of stuff. But with CDP, I know there's a bit more information in there. So I want more data. So I bumped it up to 500 bytes. Now, if you want to find out exactly how much, you can always work it out. But I just kind of threw that in there. That's good enough for me. Dash F. Is going to create a file and it's going to be called cdp.etl. So uh, etl, you're going to say, wait a minute, what is that? Well, that's Microsoft's format and, and it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going to show you in a little bit why that doesn't matter. So after you hit enter, it says right there, PKT mon. I've got this path and this file, so it's good. I'm using uh, whatever filter and I'm capturing from this adapter. So it's a bit of a confirmation. So how do you know when you have this packet? Well, counters is one way to figure it out. So right now, zero. Now, CDP, you're going to have to wait at least 60 seconds. I say at least, because every 60 seconds one comes out. Depends in that cycle when you happen to capture it. You could have been at the 40-second mark and you only had to wait 20 seconds. You could have been at the one-second mark and you have to wait 59 seconds for it. So there's, there's no real time I can give you, but you know, a minute, you should have something within a minute, right? You want to be extra safe? Two minutes. And that's where the prompt comes in. So I know I hit enter on the start command at 1420, 220 p.m. 
and right now it's 1422 so I've gotten you know about two minutes worth of time I'm gonna check my counters again nope still nothing so I have to wait 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 until I get a CDP packet now that filter that MAC address will also give you other Cisco packets like the DTP right the dynamic trunking protocol that uses that same MAC address so you you really have to just be patient right like I said you want to wait two minutes three minutes four minutes five minutes whatever it is check your counters and then when you see that you got a packet you're good to go okay so I'm just gonna pause the video and I'll come back when we have a packet all right so now I did my PKT mon counters command and I've got a packet so chances are it's gonna be a CDP packet oh I got two now so I'm pretty confident we should have one by now so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stop my capture PKT MON simply type stop and there you go files created so now that we got our file basically you're gonna have two I'm gonna call this first step optional but you may or may not want to do this and that is simply converting your trace file into a standard format like a PCAP NG format for like a Wireshark analyzer uh, in this case it's CDP but nevertheless I just want to show you the step so PKT mon the command is to convert their ETL format to PCAP right that's the actual command and then CDP ETL is the original file and then dash O is my new file I'm gonna call PCAP dot I mean CDP dot PCAP NG takes no time at all there's not much to see there right good to go and the second one is what we're using for this example and that's the same kind of thing but I want to convert this to text text txt so I'm converting ETL to text and uh, and there's the file name and dash v2 is the level of being uh, verbose and that's the detail and 2 is going to give me what I need for my CDP stuff enter so now I have a text file okay I have my CDP text file this is you can just open it in notepad whatever text editor you want and, and you can look through it but I don't want to have to look through the entire trace file because face it this could be 50 60 100 who knows how many packets so a better way to do this is to use the find command now you can also use type um, you know and pipe it through find if you'd like if, if this makes any sense to you if not just stick with find so I want to find port ID and the text file is cdb.txt enter and there you go I'm on gig 2011 done end of story so now I know exactly what port I'm on you can do this on remote computers if you were troubleshooting somebody's computer and you need to just verify what port they're on you can do that there's probably a couple of other things you want I'm gonna include all of this in the write-up these commands now you just copy and paste them so the other one is gonna be your name of your switch mine's called Dexter the other one is the platform which is the model of switch 3750 right there and then the last one is duplex and there's a bunch of other stuff PoE there's 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 loads of stuff you can get out of it uh, for the fancy people in the who are listening to this yeah you can write your own script you can parse it out any way you want so that's it there you go we did all of this using Microsoft's native commands have a good day bye for now Thank <laughs> you.